Can you make it up? Yeah. You go back. All right, son. All right, son. Go on, Chelsea, but you got this. Definitely, definitely. Let's go. Let's go when you're ready. You don't mind? No. Uh -huh. Can I just get a mic set up there for five seconds? Yeah, we told the media. Yeah, I was told me. <laughs> no, three down there, three thirty here. Yes, I
challenging year of pain, my prayer remains one of gratitude. Gratitude for people like Council and Joe. Bring Hesed and Hamet and Sedek and Shalom and Shalom into our hearts and into this community every day. In your soul, loving kindness and justice. So we pray on this day of celebration and of hope that we may share in a higher vision of public service and a higher vision for our precious city. We pray that in this sacred moment,
Yeah, yeah! 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 Yes, it is. To be here with you today is very special. And 
I want to show you something. This right here. Oh, my friend. How you doing? Anyway, right. First and foremost, we thank the crew that's been giving us another day of life. Good. Now, thank Good. you all for coming out and being a part of this very special moment. The first thing I want to do is send love to every member of the community that has been affected by COVID-19. We could not have imagined this devastation. But we have shown that through trials and tribulations, we are stronger together. We are stronger together. This fall, as we emerge from the challenges of the past year, we have a very special opportunity to foster new ideas New hope, new determination, new leadership to create a city of our dreams. And we must maximize this incredible opportunity. In order for us to do that, we have to have leadership that is energetic, that is courageous, that is bold, and who listens to the voices of all Clevelanders, and most importantly, takes action. As you think about leadership, we don't want to hear what you say you're going to do. I want you to pay attention to the work that we have done. There's a very big difference. And this is why I want to be your next mayor of this great city of Cleveland. I am focused on fostering a better Cleveland for all residents. Better city services, better public safety, better education, and better opportunities for all. The Jones Plan for Better Cleveland will make City Hall open, accessible, transparent, and accountable. And when elected mayor, customer service will be a priority. When you call City Hall, you should not be made to feel as if you are a burden. But yet and still, we should welcome you with open arms. We will streamline city services. Under the Jones Plan for Better Cleveland, we will improve processes, upgrade technology, and make sure that all businesses, especially the small ones, can easily do business with our great city. If we have better city, city services, this will make for a better Cleveland. The next part of the Jones Plan for a Better Cleveland is that we will create a plan that will improve safety across the city. We will consider community policing where officers and residents know each other well, work together in partnership to keep one another safe. And under our administration, we will take care of our officers, our firemen, our first responders, by investing in better safety equipment. Our firemen should not be sleeping in rundown fire hoses, firehouses. Our police officers should not be driving broke down police cars. Our EMS workers should not be driving and trying to assist people with equipment that is substandard. How can we expect them to help us if we are not willing to help them? Under the Jones Plan for a Better Cleveland, we will improve the way we respond to 911 calls. We must become a city that puts more focus on rehabilitation instead of incarceration. <laughs> Under the Jones Plan for a Better Cleveland, we will create a mobile crisis unit staffed with therapists and mental health experts that can deal with social and emotional issues. Under the Jones Plan for Better Cleveland, 
We will create an office of grief and condolences that responds to violent crimes against our families by providing trauma experts and resources that will provide healing and stand with our residents in your greatest time of need. If we forget our people, then how do we expect them to ever remember us? Under the Jones Plan for a Better Cleveland, we have to understand something that's very important. That we are the greatest location in the nation. We are not the mistake on the lake, and we have to change the way that we view our city. We are a city with world-class assets, a world-class lakefront, world-class parks, world-class museums and businesses and theaters and restaurants, world-class healthcare. But the greatest thing about the city of Cleveland is its greatest asset, which is world-class people. And that's who you are. Under the Jones Plan for a Better Cleveland, we have to address a major issue. If our city is to do better and be better, we must focus on bettering our educational system. I will be an education mayor. Let me say it again. I will be an education mayor. I'll say it again. I will be an education mayor. Under the Jones Plan for a Better Cleveland, there will be a better coordination between schools and post-secondary opportunities. Universities, building trades, entrepreneurship, workforce development. We understand that every young person is not going to go to college. But we must prepare every young person not just to be workers, but to become business owners. Why? Because if we understand the importance of ownership, then we will understand the importance of uplifting our community. And this is for children and for our adults. As the education mayor, we will increase wraparound services for our children and for our families to ensure that their health, social, and educational needs are met. And as mayor, I will ensure that the full weight of the city will be around education and especially for our schools. Schools cannot get the job done alone. And most important, we will listen to our teachers and ensure that they receive the respect and honor that they deserve. Under the Jones Plan for Better Cleveland, we will cultivate an inclusive and equitable economy with both small and large, world-class businesses, minority and majority owned, can thrive. The Jones administration wants to create a new batch of wealth in this city. In order for us to be successful, we have to make sure that we don't run, around, run away from the conversation of economics. Listen, I am clear that this task is not the task for one person. We must all commit to making this a better Cleveland. And we will be traveling throughout the city from Ward 1 to Ward 17 to listen to your thoughts and ideas we want for you to join us on this path to make the city a better place. As I embark upon this next challenge in my life, and as we approach Mother's Day, I can't help but to think about my mother who transitioned 11 years ago from cancer and she taught me that the true success is not making it to freedom but bringing others with you to experience it as well. Growing up in the homeless shelters of Cleveland, I realized that love and hope is necessary. And I love Cleveland so much, 
I love the people so much. And you don't deserve what you've been receiving. You don't deserve leadership that has forgotten you and don't listen to your voice. That's the reason why Cleveland continues to fail. Because they have forgotten the people. I was only there for four years. And look at the work that we've accomplished in War 7. It didn't take long. I love Cleveland so much. That's why I returned after graduating with honors from Morehouse College. That's why I chose to become an activist since I was a little boy. Since I was a little boy. You know me. I'm not different. I was my authentic self in City Hall. You know me from Huff and Superior. You know me from speaking at your graduation and visiting your classrooms. I am you. I am you. You finally have one of your own. I am you. I was the same boy walking down Superior feeling inferior. I was the same boy with me and my family living in the Salvation Army. I was the same boy playing basketball at East High at MLK, whooping up on some of y'all. <laughs> you know me. They're surprised, but you're not surprised. You're not surprised about this work that we're doing. Because you meet, you know me since I was a child. And that's why we're still here. And that's why we are working and have worked tirelessly over the past four years to make Sword 7, which was my community, a better place than I found it. And we've accomplished a great deal in Ward 7 in a short period of time. And I believe with me as mayor, the same will be done across the city from Ward 1 to Ward 17. And we have an opportunity, y'all. We have an opportunity to honor this incredibly rich history of our city by reinvigorating our city and ourselves. Did you know that during slavery, the Underground Railroad code name for Cleveland was Hope. Station Hope. Hope is ingrained in the very fabric of this community. And we as Clevelanders continue to carry that ideal with us to this very day. Whether it's the hope that the Browns win the Super Bowl, or the hope that the mother has that her black son will come back home safely. We have hope. We have hope. We have to put our egos aside and become a city that embraces succession planning. We all have ideas of how to make Cleveland better. And I want to tap into this collective vision to make our city better. You know what needs to happen. You understand. You know the pain that we are dealing with. And it is our time to showcase our city locally, regionally, nationally, internationally as the greatest location in the nation, and that is Cleveland, Ohio. So, I need you. I can't do it alone. From the east side to the west side, this is not a black or white issue. This is not an auto or Hispanic issue. This is a human issue. And the pain on the east side should be felt on the west side. And the success on the west side should be felt as the success on the east side. Until all neighborhoods grow, our city will continue to suffer. We must create bridges between our young and our elders of all faiths, of all cultures, of all socioeconomic statuses. Unless we all win, we all lose. And once we understand that, politics will continue to bring us freedom, will begin to bring us freedom. So, are you ready for a better Cleveland? Yeah. Hold on, man. They need to hear you on Huff, right? Are you ready for a better Cleveland? Yeah. Are you ready for a better Cleveland? Yeah. Are you ready for a better Cleveland? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I need 
for you to stand with us, join our campaign. You left our beautiful office. I want to say thank you so much to our, my amazing team. I cannot do this without them. This is not one individual. Bashir Jones cannot do it by himself. It's going to take every last one of us to do it. It's going to take our business owners, brother. It's going to take our religious leaders, our spiritual leaders. It's going to take our community activists. This cannot be a city where the activist voice is silent. Just because you disagree, don't mean we have to be disagreeable. Everybody's voice is important in order for us to make this city a better place. So I'm urging you to join me. Join me to be a part of this movement for a better Cleveland. And I want you to sign up down at our campaign app, our, our office. Become a volunteer. Help me knock on doors. Put down signs. Help us speak and spread this message that a change is here. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We want to take any questions, uh, any questions from the media. We'll take it now. Well, that's it, Bashir Jones. Yell, across the right, so. Browns. I got some friends from Detroit who came here.